Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and I'm about to start up Dust, an Elysian Tale by Humble Hearts. And I could go into all these wonderful details and tell you everything there is to know about the game before the game actually starts, before we pick it up, before we do anything, and then you'll be like, well, that's not much of a surprise, and I want to kind of avoid that. I want you guys to be surprised. I want you to have shock and awe in what you see before you. We're going to start up the game, and, well... I've deleted my saved games from the past, so I'm not tempted to uh, play through. Also, I never went very far, because this is a game I've been wanting to cover on my channel for a while. And I'm going to do it. I am going to do it on normal, though. So. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. That would the be me. stood no chance, and the soldier Show no mercy. But despite his victories, yeah. his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Some warrior he is. My goodness. Alright. So, as you see, it's a very pretty game. Dust. Dust. Arise. Lord Vader. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So there's a floaty magical sword talking to me. Uh, uh, a talking sword? What are you? What, what are, are you? Which you have summoned? Ooh, I summoned a sword. Summoned. How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Well, yes, we shall. Rise. And claim the blade of Ara. I shall claim you, blade. Be mine. Oh, look at that. Magical. So I'm holding the sword backwards. Oh, what's that? Stop. Stop right there. Mm. And who is she? Me? And who is she? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. Fidget, huh? No offense. You look like a guardian. Aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I kind of wish somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. I'm sorry, so I does. think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. Whoa. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you? Tell me your name. I'm... Ah. Uh, He's a... Fidget. His name is Dust. And he is the one who woke me from my slumber. Sweet. So, Fidget, then. That's me. And you're... Dust? It would seem that way. Though I can't recall that name. Though I can't recall that name. I could, uh... Totally be this guy. What is this sword so, anyway? What is this so, sword? What is this I am the blade sword? of Ara. And you dust this guy. Oh my I am the blade there. of Ara. Yes, well, eh, look, I can't that's her, all though. great and everything, but I think it's about time to get awesome, the sword though. back to the claim. Gotta love Fidget. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. Indeed. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Nor do well, I. Then you leave me no choice. Oh. I. You. Sweet. The winner gets the sword. All right, let's do this. Well, I. All right, all right, you win. Aww. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Ara? <laughs> the answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? 
I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Alright, so, very, very, very long-winded uh, intro, but not necessarily a bad thing. I never did check over here to the left. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Surprise, I found a treasure key. Which, of course, is really good for opening, you guessed it, treasure chests. So, as you can see, they did a very nice job of the, like, artwork, the drawing, flowers, butterflies, the whole scenery, the background. It's all, it's like, all of it's alive, it's moving, it even looks almost hand-drawn. So, definitely an interesting concept, I guess. Interesting take, if you will. I like it. It's different. The Glade. Look at the cute little pony rabbits! I want to pet them and smoke their food. Alright, so if I press A, I jump. Which is actually not A, it's X, but whatever. And I can look down. I can look up. Or I can look down. But instead, I'm just going to jump. Oh no, I've come to a giant thing. Whatever will I do? Beat it to death! Sorry, just get my combos down, guys. All right. Well, I can heal the quick slot. Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Sweet. Onward. Ooh, shiny. Dash acquired. <laughs> oh yeah, look at me. Whew, I'm like a ninja now. So. The tutorial is probably going to be the first episode, probably going to just be tutorial and storyline advancement through talking and everything else. There will be some fighting as, well, that's what this game is all about, combat. But, don't expect anything too massively amazingly awesome to happen in the first episode or so, because, well, they focus on kind of the, they set up the story and they focus on right, teaching you how to play, so. Correction. We found a, a locked, locked chest. chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. Yeah. That would be Aww. unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose well, that's we'll need a key then. Kind of disappointing. Surprise! I have a key. All right, so here's the unlock mini game, if you will. Just hit the buttons in the right order time event if you prefer that and there we go so we got through the first chest and I don't know every once in a while the game does seem to be a little bit laggy just in a certain couple little areas certain spots so if that is the case I apologize oh my gosh the deers are gonna eat me ah, I did say deers instead of deer as a singular entity but whatevs whatever huh Oh no! Ah! Monsters! Calm yourself, <laughs> Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. What have I learned? No, no! Mash the buttons! Do something! Mash the buttons, yeah! Smash them! Oh my gosh, I'm a hero! Oh, oh no! Ha! Ah. Smash the buttons! Nobody said anything <laughs> about monsters. I like the strange. Where did I learn these oh, skills? Oh, this guy. Strange. Where eyes. did I learn these skills? All the skills imbued therein. I'll try not to quote him uh, over and over. Hello, monsters! Uh, Fidget's is that my hero. Why I summoned you to control this power. It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. There is. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. Oh, At poor least Fidget. take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. I will take your feeble fruits. 
And for the screen, you can. Uh, I'm just gonna skip the stuff. So basically, you can equip different item slots and things like that. There, we're going to equip uh, the feeble fruit. It heals us for much less than the mysterious wall chicken or the uh, luta nut. And we're not taking a whole heck of a lot of damage right now, so it's probably beneficial for us to focus on the other items first, or the lower health gain things first. And the save point, and we will save manually as well, simply because it's what we do. So, the one thing I don't like about the game is, well, I don't like about most games like this, is the fact that there are specific save points. So, I might be at the mercy of those as we continue on, but we'll see. From whence it came... I will not be denied! Oh, okay, I lied. I was denied. Alright, so, as you see, combat's pretty easy. You just smash the buttons and you're fine. There are combos to be had and or done, but... Still, I don't know. Pretty easy stuff. And the longer your combo chain, or battle chain, or hit chain, whatever they call it, the uh, more experience you actually get for killing the individual bad guys that are doing individual bad stuff. We are going to attempt very much to stop the enemy in their tracks. And I think we've succeeded, and we're at the edge of the level. Which is slightly ironic, meaning it's entirely made of iron. No, 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 that's not what it means at all. I think we've actually cleared everything, but we're gonna go back and double check, make sure there's no hidden paths that we've missed. Now there is a world map, eventually you unlock. And there is the little mini-map. Now, the problem with the mini-map is it doesn't show us a whole heck of a lot. Oh, oh dear, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Ooh. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. To the Dust Storm! Cool. I like it. I like it, Hold too. Hold the secondary attack to perform the Dust Storm. Uh. But beware. Skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. Well, that doesn't sound very useful. In that case, maybe I can help. Absolutely. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power. Ooh, I'll super the ballistic so fidget action button of power. That it will produce emotions you didn't even know existed. That's pretty sweet. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. All right. Here we go. That was pretty impro. I, I I didn't even know that these emotions was, uh, existed. Very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. That was pretty sweet. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. Huh. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Ooh. Observe. Let us see. Show us this amazing attack. That is a little bit more powerful. Wow. Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, <laughs> it'll use up a bit of energy meter. Okay. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Sweet. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, bonus? if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. Oh, no. All right. I think I understand. I think you do, if too. If this is all too much for you, you can... Oh, thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Right, so. Fear the power of fidget and dust. Yeah. Aw. Somebody survived it. That's not cool. Almost had him. Almost had him. Uh, 
and we call on the power of the dust storm. It is pretty freaking sweet, I will not lie. I don't know if I've ever gotten a chain this high before. That might have been a pretty darn good um, chain combo. Wow, well, I was post 200. I think I just unlocked it. Yeah, I unlocked a Steve achievement. Steam achievement too. Uh, it was a decent start and another save point. Victory. Oh, well, a victory, but. Well, I ruined this one. Unfortunate, to be sure. Hear me? And my floaty little fidget, too? Alright, well, that's... that's nice. Alright, well, we can use one regular thing. Indicated by our... Oh no, the chain has been broken. No, don't break my chain. And it's raining money and bodies. Let me through. I will enter the windy... <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I will enter the windy place. And I have gained a mysterious wall chicken as well. Which is pretty mysterious and pretty awesome. All at the same time. Hey, you just leveled up. Hey. Is that what I did? It feels good. Sweet. Great uh, even. As it should, Dust. Mm. You've acquired a skill gem. Really? Open the character screen from the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. Even more powerful. From here, you can. All right. So basically, what it tells you is, you can level up any of your four skills, whether it's max health, defense, attack, or a fidget. But your highest skill. So say you had four gems and an attack you'd have to get at least one gem in the other three to put the fifth gem in. So they have to be within four gems of themselves. Or, like, your max has to be four within four of your lowest. So we're going to go with attack first, because that's just what I do. I'm like, you know what? I want to hit harder, and I will do so. So I tend to do so. I will say, I feel, like, exceptionally tired today, guys. I don't know what it is, but I just... I don't know. I feel completely wiped out. I'm hoping... I'm hoping there's nothing like wrong with the recording and I'm like just like slow motion, boring, half asleep uh, type of situation. I am just really tired today. Even if I am getting to finally play this game for realsies. Like I said, I've been waiting to play this one for quite some time. Is so. that it? I guess that was it. Alright. Let us hop down. Ooh, and there's a chest, and we have a key. Chest minigame, fear me. Yeah. Now that, I got some tasty cupcakes. And we get to get blown to the westward. Alright. So let's head east. And I believe... I believe... It. Oh. I can be able to get through two more, I'm, I'm guessing, and I don't honestly remember. I did play through this opening area a couple times, so... I am at least a little bit familiar with the game, but I don't remember every detail about it, because it has been some time since I've actually gotten into the game. But, that being said, I believe we'll go through two more safe spots. Again, I'm assuming that they're relatively close together. Before we actually break off the episode. Wow. Wow, really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? 
I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. Sarcasm time. I dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. Crazy flying sword. <sighs> I'm sorry sword. I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. <laughs> Digging a sword, getting me in trouble. trouble. Aww. You know, you feel bad for I fidget. It, I do. This isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? Perhaps. It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Indubitably. I shall proceed as I wish. That was an easy kill. Well, apparently we go down. Alright, so here's save point number one, which we shall utilize. And do our massive savings. What are we, like 4% in? I don't know. And then we'll head eastward and see what else we can uncover, unlock, and or oh. So let's get in here. And just kind of do a horrible beatdown type scenario. And it looks like we've uncovered two more keys in a cave. Two keys, two keys in a cave. We can't do anything with the tent or the fire. Did that really annihilate all of them? It seems to have. Which is pretty cool. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I said goodbye, sir. And we are just a murdering stuff left, right, and center. And then even slightly off center, because we're just that good, I guess. And we said, bow before us, kneel, and submit to our prowess. Ooh, and we leveled up. Like a boss. We're going to go two in this to attack. Simply because we can. And it looks like there is treasure somewhere hidden. And yes, we are victorious. And we now have the Aerial Dust Storm acquired. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Oh, okay. So you kind of float. That's like a... That's interesting. That's pretty cool, I suppose. A little bit weird, but whatevs. Care. Even the greatest hmm. of swordsmen cannot maintain the dust storm for that long. Why, it's the first time that's ever happened. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll try to be more oh, careful. Oh, did you just hit yourself? Keep an eye on your color. If you start turning uh. red and the screen begins to shake, you're close to losing it. Aw, she's so concerned with me. Alright, so be a little bit more cautious with our dust storm. That's, that's fair. That's fair, I suppose. I was flagrantly. That's that word, guys. Flagrantly kind of abusing my prowess just a tad, just a little tiny bit. As we are back on point. And we're still getting them bonuses. Oops, no! I wasn't ready to fall yet. I see a trend here, guys. I see a trend. No! Oh, really? All of you bow before my might. All right. Oh, cool! There was another key there. Did you notice that? I just figured there had to be something up there. I also assumed it was going to be something a bit different. Hello, chest. And 
just like that. We are victorious again in our mission. Can we break this? No! The wall is reinforced with a powerful alloy. Something explosive should do the trick. Like diarrhea. No. Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? It looks that way. Whatever it is, it's got glowing evil lights of evil. Love it. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. To be sure. I wasn't frightened. I wasn't Just frightened. Surprise at the uh, savings. <gasps> Come on, let's talk to him. Pretty good. I like fidget a lot. I've been expecting you, stranger. Creepy. Who are you? Who are Merely you? a friend with many wares for sale. Hmm. Shall we conduct business? I think maybe I should start talking with a guy like all the time. I think that would be pretty sweet. Apparently I have one of these. Eh. I suppose that would be good to have. Um... I have one stock already, so I don't need that. Do not have a ring. Those are really expensive. And I don't know what to do with those uh, just before yet. Before you Ooh. leave, might I propose an offer? That would, would depend, depend on, on the, the offer. offer. If I may be so bold, <laughs> you are not prepared for the journey ahead. How rude. I, however, can offer assistance. Please, accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I Very can offer you cool. materials as well, though I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here, as I'm sure you've guessed by now. Yeah, it does appear that you're not from around here at Once all. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. Interesting. As for your reward... I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Intriguing. Ah, he'll buy them at a the high price. I... Well, yes. Yes, I will. Uh, Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. That doesn't sound like a very friendly thing to say. Let's see, do we have any material... Need... Yeah, yeah. Do we have any materials to sell you? Uh, switch to sell mode. We do. We do indeed. All right. Well, let's sell you some materials then. Apparently we get 25 per. Huh. Junk, there's no purpose. Sell it. Okay. The gnarled claws of an imp. And a beast spear. Ooh. Your turn. You are welcome. Most, the materials you've sold me will be quite useful. Quite I'll useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. Thank you, sir. I also share my stock with other merchants. Good to know. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Very nice. Thank you. Watch your back. All right, so we are all decked out with his amazing gear. I like it. And huh. Oh, there's a safe thing on the other side of that deal. If I remember there's some sort of weird plant or something. That you Yeah, this thing. We must dust storm. Come to me, thing. And boom! We got a mysterious wall chicken as well as some other random stuff, treasure key and all that good stuff. And then we have to bring the next one of those little deals. If it does respawn, yeah it does. And we must bring that up to our other place of uh contention. Oops. Obey me! And boom! And I think that's gonna do it for episode one of Dust and Elysian Tale. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This is going to be my replacement for guacamole. So pretty much a once a week endeavor. Something to kind of just go with the speed cast, I suppose. This is kind of a filler thing. It's not going to be one of my more serious um, series. Serious series? Sure. 
But it should still be fun nonetheless, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know I've been waiting to play this. I've even considered doing this as a primary uh, series. But I feel keeping it light and easy, you know, once a week type deal, might be a little bit more fun. That way I don't have to get too engrossed in it, and then if I get into a lot of trouble, you know, well, I don't want to get into trouble. So that's going to do it for this first episode of Dust and Elysian Tale. Again, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, and I will see you in the very next episode. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.